hello, I'm back. Recording this right after the last one, because I gotta do some recording. There's a lot of cats. What do we got for traits that we can do? Decrease quintessence's essence cooldowns. Decrease swap cooldown. Mm, 30 per level, though. And it's gonna go up, too. You can increase, like, physical damage, maybe? You think, like, magic attack damage? 6% for each kill up to 60%. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's good. I was close to collecting 132. That doesn't look very good. This is better. He can just give you a skull? Yo! Look at that. Oh, you get a nice, uh... You're as greedy as an ogre. Alright, give me more stones. Give me 10 and I'll give you one more. What's that, mask? No, I just want to skip his dialogue. Alright, get a skull. Okay. So he gives you skulls before runs. So that's pretty cool. You can start off with something fun. Don't tell the witches. She said I would. I should no spoil you with gifts. Generate 30 gold per Carleon item you have upon changing maps. Okay. Oh, you can give him dark quartz to get another item. No, I don't want your things. I'm leaving. You talk too much. Look at that. <laughs> that's like when you use um, Corrin's down air off stage and you're like, ah, crap. How good is this skull? I'm not sure I like it. I mean, the damage seems pretty good, but at the same time... Oh, it makes a ripple. I like that. So attacks have a chance to make ripples? I should probably have read it before I just picked it up mindlessly. Let me look. Gush. Shoots a plume of water up from the ground. Dive swapping causes nearby enemies to spray water and push back. Tackle, dash attack, camp, multi-dash. Attacking enemies fills a gauze that when max out unleashes a wave that carries enemies away. Oh, okay. So we do have a dash attack. It's that. Okay. So the wave comes from hitting enemies. I'll take Skeleton Sword. I'm not sure if I like it more than um, Base Skeleton. We had this in the last episode. I like, what I do like about it is uh, the triple hit there. Wait, is it actually not the triple hit? Is it something different? Oh, dude, that was insanely good. What? All right. So I'm actually kind of liking this water, especially for the swap attack. We'll, we'll keep it for now. Move forward and quickly stab. Bleeds enemies upon intact. Okay, so he doesn't have the triple stab this time. I lied. I guess these can change. It's actually probably better than the triple stab. I really like it. Okay, I think I killed him, but he still left his cloud behind. I was hoping it wouldn't do that. But it did. Which is what it is, man. He's gonna do slam. Alright, good, good, good. Get that in there. Get this in there. Swap and use spells. All right, so now I'm getting the hang of it. You're seeing uh, like me switch more, use spells more, things like that. I think that's what I was missing last episode, to say the least. Look at that guy. He went flying. I did see that, you know, round tentacle. Get this guy out of the way, so that way we don't got to worry about uh, ranged attacks from him. I did just get hit pretty bad. And I know I'm saying, like, this is what I was missing, but to be fair, I'm also, like, taking a stupid amount of damage. Slam dunk him. Thank you. Dude, I feel like this one, it definitely reminds me the most of, like, a stand. Something about it just feels very stand-looking. So where's the gauge? Ah, oh, that's below us. It's actually that mana gauge you can see below us. It goes up by 10 um, per attack. It's right below my HP bar. Interestingly enough. That's a pretty cool mechanic. I like that. So I want to dash into them and then use the explosion. I like this character. It's definitely a little slow. I could use some attack speed if that's a thing. I did get some on my last run towards the end of the run i know it was a little bit longer because i ended up with um a really long run as my last run it was like 26 minutes when i was i don't remember being at 30 minutes but 
I could have been. Increase cool skill cooldown speed by 120% for 10 seconds every time 8 skills are used. So let's see what else we have bonuses here. Acquire Increase uh, acquired gold by 3%. That's just Midas. Amplifies physical attacks by 5%. Increase skill cooldown speed by 10%. A bolt of lightning falls on enemies in a certain area every 60 seconds, dealing magic damage. Lightning bolts fall more often based on distance moved. Hmm. Interesting. I don't have a quintessence yet. But we are about to hit our shop here. So increase attack speed and movement speed. That is caught my eye here. I think so far out of all of these that that caught my eye the most. I don't like the sneak. Basic attacks inflict 4 additional true damage for 10 seconds. I do like the attack speed on that too. I'm gonna buy that. Attack speed and movement speed are increased by up to 5% based on distance moved. Jumping increases physical attack and magic attack by 15%. The effect wears off one second after landing. That's pretty good. And then this is a passive, I believe, right? Nice attack speed. I think we can beat the boss with this. I'm kind of confident. I know the first boss. Oh, it's different. Hello? Those thighs don't lie. Stormfront? Nope. I'm the best in Carleon. I mean, that's debatable. You're the first boss. I'll turn you into charcoal. The classic. She's drinking her Estus flask in the air. You can't do that in Dark Souls. All right, she's doing some cool skill. What a hassle. <laughs> yeah, that's me at work. I, don't, I think she's kind of easier. Honestly. Might be a little more annoying because she's in the air all the time, but it doesn't bother me. I actually think she's kind of easy. I don't know. That wasn't hard. What do you got? Ent skull. Attacks create 20% chance of randomly shooting upward thorns from beneath surrounding enemies. Tackle as a dash attack. Environment friendly. Hides in the ground while invincible, then pops up to damage surrounding enemies when pawn swapping. Rapid growth slam a giant fist downward. Hold the skill button down to focus your mind. With full focus, the skill summons an even bigger fist. Max HP by 25 and become invincible. Or decrease incoming damage by 20%. That's a Carleon item, so it will give us gold. I think. Damage received and increased HP recovery rate. I think we've had something with those similar statistics, but just not that basic defense. Now we could take the gold path. I think that's what we'll do. So there's a speedy thingy making them fast. Shrine is what I'm going to call them. They probably have like an actual name and I would be surprised if it wasn't shrine. Where is it? Oh, well, he's dead. Oh, it's over under there. Okay. I don't want to use my dash attack there. Um, I said dash attack, but it's just a lunge forward because I was afraid I would land on uh, thorns. But yeah, this attack speed is pretty good so far. I'm liking my uh, rate of fire. What do we got? Increase the attack speed of 55% for three seconds per kill. That's insanely good. When inflicting damage from normal attacks, attack speed increases by 5% up to a maximum of 5 for 5 seconds. When dealing damage with normal attacks, there's a 20% chance to inflict poison. Poison enemies explode when killed, dealing physical damage equal to 20% of the remaining poison damage and poisoning surrounding enemies. That sounds pretty freaking cool. How would you feel if I just took more gold? I don't know. How would you feel? Would you feel like that's the most boring option? Or would you be like, that's funny? Because I would have done the same. Ow, by the way. I'm trying to get down there. I was that's what I've been trying to do, but it didn't work out very well. I know, I know. You got that charge. You thick. Okay. Need to get back in the um HP recovery. 
section. It does definitely keep your HP um, set. Like, your total threshold. Now, we've had Alchemist before. It's a rare Alchemist. Any different? No? Okay. I don't know if that was rare last time I got it, too. We're just going to take Spiritual Coffee to recover some health here. Then I think um, maybe we'll look at Skulls. It's been a little bit. I haven't looked at Skulls in a while. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Is this just a trap room? What is going on? Yeah, that was pretty self-explanatory. I didn't think they would make you have to be Skull to get that. Got to shoot out like that. Melee? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So far, so good. I'm liking this run. It's already 10 minutes, surprisingly. Skeleton shield. Hold down the attack button to concentrate, gain a shield of 7, and have attack strengthened upon completion. Enemies take additional damage when they hit walls. Tackle deal damage from dashing. Iron wall defense. Pushes nearby enemies back when swapping and gains shield of 20 for 5 seconds. Shield strike pushes nearby enemies back and gains shield of 10 for 8 seconds. Very shield oriented, I must say. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just pointing out that that is uh, the shield hero. Or I guess I shouldn't say hero because you're kind of fighting heroes, right? This game is about being the hero slayer after all. Like you're playing as Garo, but you're actually part of the demons and the demons are the nice guys. You guys like a secret room over here? No, of course not. <laughs> I don't know if those things are very prevalent or if they even really exist. And that was just like, not necessarily a secret room, but just existed. All right. Let's fight the tree or is it not? Okay, it's still the tree. So this is probably the same every time, the elder end. Ow. <laughs> he got me good. All right, this attack doesn't bother me that much. Kind of bothered me there though. falls over right yeah 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 I just took a crap ton of damage to deal with that I'm just focusing a little bit now yeah I think this is worse arguably we gotta be very careful now because I've taken way too much damage and my damage is nowhere near as high as it was last run. So I shouldn't be too greedy. Okay, that was close. We made it. Oh my goodness, I almost died to that. Okay. Doing fine. What's he doing this time? He's going back to fist stomping. Okay. All right. So we'll switch to something else, right? Crystal attack. No, I was trying to dodge under it. I shouldn't have done it. I knew I couldn't make it. Dang it. Dang it. What do we got? Anything I can buy by? I cost 70. Increase physical attacks, I guess. Well, so he gives you a free one every run, and he'll give you, like, a free item every run. Okay, thank you. Physical attack by 30. That's pretty cool. What do we have for activate item? Damage your enemies and roll back while invincible to avoid enemy attacks. The skill can be charged up to three times. Okay, so it's a little bit different. I shouldn't, you know, judge it before I take it. I gotta learn what the skills do a little bit more. That's pretty cool. I just tried to use that to dodge because I felt like I was in a bad way, but I definitely was in a bad way and I still got hit twice. They have increased damage, so let me kill this. 
Hello, trees. Don't mind if I do. So I guess we'll start off with the um, assassin here. Use this to gain some extra gold. Because I feel like that would be the play. I don't understand the hitbox on this attack, though, I must say. It's a little weird. This is a treasure. I think the treasures could be good here. Let's see what we get. Ow? Or not ow? I don't know. What happened there? <laughs> I like how you can use it like twice in a row. That's pretty funny. So I have armor right now? Is that what the blue is on your HP bar is armor? Okay, generates 30 gold per item yet per map. We had this last run. All right. Let's just focus on the smaller guys, I guess, since I'm doing a horrible job of dealing with any of them. They have this defense totem, which I guess I should kill. Give me more armor back. My one, my, all my back, all my back, all my back. So it definitely, the class moves back a little bit while attacking, which is a little bit annoying. It's pretty easy to hit that on, like, tankier enemies, enemies that don't move, that have a larger hitbox like this. And then we can back up. Whoa, back up. Better call back up, you know. Minotaur we had. What's anything special about this? Charge forward to bludgeon and stun enemies in your path. I think it's just the same, but I'm willing to take it. I, I liked the Minotaur when we took it. Let me just see. Oh, that's a pretty pretty good one. I like that a little bit more than the last skill we had on the Minotaur. Oh, I dodged that. I didn't even intend to, and I did. A nice uppercut. I just doubled the amount of damage I took there for no reason. Give me wings. Let me fly. Fly on the wings of an angel. I don't even think that's how the song goes at all, to be honest. Let me switch back to this guy real quick. There's gold there, but how? But how? I don't know. Probably a secret door, right? Well, I'm not going to worry about it. Especially after I just did that. <laughs> Maybe over to the right, you think? No, definitely not. Okay. This will be our boss fight then. Dash cooldown speed by 100% and dashing distance by 80% if there are four more enemies. Increase the skeleton soldiers' physical and magic attack. Mm -hmm. Does that mean me? Or does that like the specific class of skeleton soldier? Does it say what kind of class they are? No? Huh. Okay. Sorry, I got two points in March. Amplifies physical attack damage. That's pretty good. Uh, Do I want to heal or buy an item? Oh, well, by that, I don't know how that works exactly, but it does give me a third to march, even if that doesn't work. So that'll give me 10% uh, regardless. And then we can buy this just to heal to make sure we're going to get through our boss fight, okay? I think that's uh, probably sensible. Who am I hoping for? Oh, it's another archer. Stay away, you small. I'm watching you. There's bear traps? Okay. Okay. I rolled right onto it. That's definitely my bad. Watch your head. Interesting. So I'm going to guess that like every floor you have a mini boss fight, which is one of these heroes. And then you also have a big boss fight, which is always set. What are you going to do with that? Okay, you're going to do that, which definitely is not 
a good idea to stand in. Oh, dude. The Minotaur. Definitely what you want to use on the bosses. Should have done that at the start. I was just kind of attacking mindlessly. Hunter. Holding attack to concentrate. Concentrate increases arrow power. Makes it penetrate. Quickly retreat and shoot penetrating arrows upon swapping. Multi-shot shoots multiple arrows forward. What do we got here? Face bug. Increase physical and magical by 15%. Disgusting prank. Throw a face bug to stun the enemy. Explosion that inflicts physical damage to nearby enemies occurs when hit. I'm I'm a sucker for like passives, dude, but I also really want to try like Hunter. So otherwise it just does that, does it? No, it goes straight as an arrow. I like it. I do like it. I'm gonna go for an item here. I think item's gonna be the better choice. Oh, you so you can't do it in the air, but you can fire arrow spam like that. I wonder if you can charge that special to get it to be pierceable or no? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I think it's always um, an interesting thing in a game is to see what they do with their ranged class. Because I think the ranged class kind of determines... Um, how balanced the game is going to be. Not overall. Sometimes... Uh, a lot of times games are imbalanced in other ways too. But what I mean by that is that you can generally tell um, how difficult a game's going to be based off of uh, if their range class is extremely busted. What do I think so far? I think it's pretty good. I don't know if I would call it busted. But I would call it pretty fun. I do like rolling up and shotgunning them. It probably has also another different skill that it could add. <clears throat> That's just a positive, so we're going to take it. For right now, it is. We can always drop them later, too. So I'm not worried. I do miss the um, thief's dodge skill I had previously. That was pretty beneficial. No. No. Help. <laughs> There's too many enemies. Just focus in really quick to make sure I don't do stupid things, which usually is what I do. Minotaur switch? Yeah, I should have done that a while ago, to be honest. Oh, dude, the 56 damage is insane. Alright, switch back to arrow. Hello, sir? Um, what <laughs> are you doing here? Horrible damage to take, by the way. Just want to reassure you that that is... Um, if you were saying, hey, dummy, you're taking some bad damage, I agree with you. This is our shot, but not a boss fight yet. <sighs> mummy? I see the mummy. Release poisonous smoke from your mouth. Poisons enemies upon impact. Alright, now I like that Spelunky mummy. Okay. So there is a shrine. I did see that they were getting speed buffed. Ooh, healing. I know it was only three, but I'll pick it up. It doesn't bother me that much. Hell, the shrine's right in front of me. I do kind of like uh, this dynamic of shotgun and also like range. I, I think that's one thing I like from range classes is being able to use range when you need to, but also like having the option to get in close. I can definitely charge faster than you. Any charge you can do, I can charge better, you know. Don't think you can kill these things. From my limited experience. I actually don't think I can make it over there. I cannot. Unless I do this, maybe. Nope, doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but... I was kind of expecting something a little better. Even though I shouldn't have. 
Why was he shooting down there? Do you know why? I wasn't over there. Okay. Sir. Why don't you switch to Minotaur? Good question. Because it's already over. That's why. Item. Tax rate 10% chance of burning enemies. Alright. What? Creates three bursting claims every 35 seconds. The bursting claims explode upon reaching the ground, dealing magic damage and inflicting burn. When status effects are inflicted on enemies, damage they received is permanently increased by 5%. Excuse me? I mean, you literally can't hit me. We're gonna get closer and just do this. 13, 18, 13. Hmm. So the damage does have, like, a variable to it. What, what did you think I was gonna do? Kill him on his platform? What do you take before? A melee character? Crazy. And then you spawn more of them. What are these archers even doing? They're not firing. You need to reevaluate who you're paying your money to. To do these jobs such as killing a skull. Alright. I have a feeling that we're going to do very well on this boss fight. Even though I beat it the first time and then died the second time. I still feel like I'm going to do well. Alright. Give me the benefit of the doubt on this one. Okay, that was bad, but I at least I understand that it was bad, right? What if somebody was refusing to understand that it was bad? Okay. <laughs> you know, you gotta own up to your mistakes sometimes. I admit. I did not mean to do that. Oh, the damage was pretty good. Not crazy damage from the Minotaur when we're in this phase, but... Dude, he got me good that time. Did I not put the boss on fire? Yeah, that was bad. I need to figure out a better way to dodge that. I'm going back to the same tactic every time and it's not working out. Oh, it shows you what direction the hand is coming from based off of where he's uh, leaping to. I get it. So the right hand. All right, so let's start closer. I think I still got hit there. That one I was able to dodge, but I still like feel like I could do better. I don't know. I feel like I'm just not doing very well on that attack, to say the least. No, you stupid! I tried to switch so hard, but it wasn't working. <laughs> I'm so sad. Ah, it's 28 minutes. I feel like it's going to be a little bit too long if I record another one because the episodes... That's just how things work. All right. I'll, I'll leave it there then. And um, what I'll do is I'll just pick up my stuff and... A buff? 50% for 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. Um... But yeah, for now, uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you liked the video. Comment if you got anything you want to say. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.